Hello everybody, so I was working on a much longer video about how long a normal person could survive in Minecraft. Basically, we izukai you into Minecraft if you want to take it that way. Maybe you're hit by a bus or something. I don't know. The point is, you're in Minecraft now and you have to survive as long as possible. And that kind of developed into this question of, how good is Minecraft Steve's diet? Like, if a person just ate this for years on end, what problems would they have? Now, just as a disclaimer, I am not an expert. I'm just having a little bit of fun. That's kind of why I do YouTube in the first place. So it's a lot easier to get the nutritional value out of stuff today than it would have been during like a medieval era, right? And to begin my, you know, my research, I wanted to go and look at a medical journal. Let's see what an actual human needs to survive and then we'll cross-reference at what's actually edible in Minecraft. The weird thing is in Minecraft you can't eat eggs and eggs are one of my favorite foods to eat. So Minecraft Steve is already kind of a freak. Now nutrition is broken up into two categories micronutrients and macronutrients. Macronutrients is pretty simple. This is carbohydrates, fats, proteins. Proteins are the building blocks of life. Uh, fats are used for energy as well as certain digestion and energy storage. And then finally you have carbohydrates which are just pure energy. And then we come to micronutrients. These are the things that are really going to mess you up and if you don't get certain amounts of these, you're gonna have certain nutritional deficiencies which can have any range of effects such as blindness to uh, just feeling tired all the time. So next, let's look on the Minecraft Wiki. This is just gonna be like, oh yeah, what is edible? And then I'm going to go a little bit further and see what could be edible. Because as we know, Minecraft Steve is a freak. And from all the list of every edible item in Minecraft, most of them are meat. The thing is, the game really doesn't want to go too in depth with like nutritional value. I love Vintage Story, it has these like food bars and stuff, you need a certain amount of meat, vegetable, etc. That's a really interesting thing and very good for a survival focused game. But Minecraft is kind of a sandbox creative thing with a side of a survival mode. It's not really built for survival. That's more of like vintage story or Terra Farmer Crafts type of deal. It's way more realistic and a lot harsher in its game design. From what I've been seeing and kind of what I've been going over whenever I see the list of kind of edible material, is that Minecraft Steve really likes his meats and not even organ meats, which is how a lot of humans in the past would have actually gotten a lot of their micronutrients or things that are needed to, you know, keep yourself healthy and all that. So what we're kind of seeing is there's also a lot of fantasy foods as well. Like what the hell is a glowberry? So we're gonna do things called assumptions. Yes, assumptions, horrifying for any commenter who takes themselves a little bit too serious. So let's uh, talk about what those are. I'm going to say that glowberries are a form of cherry. They look similar, they probably taste the same, except they glow and they grow underground. I'm going to say that sweet berries are probably a form of red currant. Since Mojang is a Swedish company and they're in Europe, Europe really has a lot of certain red currants. There's like black currants, white currants, etc. Brown mushrooms are going to be bellow mushrooms. If you've ever had a portobello or whatever, that's kind of what we're gonna go off here. And the red mushroom is straight up toxic because I'm going to say that is a part of the fly aminatus uh, type of mushrooms, which, uh, you know, has some fun effects that I will not list here. Then you get into some of the weirder stuff like suspicious stew where you can add flowers into a bowl of mushroom soup, which is already toxic, and then you can add more toxicity to your so toxicity by adding Lily of the Valley, which is known to uh, be very, very poisonous. Or that you could eat a puffer fish, which is also extremely toxic. Ser seriously, don't, don't, don't eat a puffer fish. It, it is, it is very not fun. And from looking all over the Minecraft wiki, I'm gonna say. What, what is Steve really missing? Well, uh, a fair amount, and they're actually pretty important. The big one is actually iodine. Basically, iodine controls a lot of hormonal reactions and a lot of your reproductive system requires it. It's mostly an issue in a lot of your thyroid glands and other such areas, so it's pretty important overall. And then on top of that, he's also going to have missing some B vitamins, trace elements like fluoride, and a lot of other random micronutrition that will cause things to make you feel very, very sleepy. The thing is in Minecraft, if you just kill a pig, you really can't make sausage from its entrails. Uh, it just kind of drops a lump of meat. So this makes me go into part two of this. What could a normal human do to cover all their bases if they were stuck in Minecraft? So I looked at 
everything. I mean everything. I literally looked at if gunpowder was edible. Uh, is quartz edible? Uh, the, the short answer is no. Do not eat either of those. They will kill you. One is from the nether, and it might give you some weird stuff. But one of the things you could actually do is culture certain foods, like milk. You could turn that into cheese or yogurt. And the thing is, also, you would be missing a lot of iodine. But what's really, really easy to get a food source of that is actually seaweed. Now, the thing is, you don't really have to eat seaweed itself. It just has to be in some kind of food. And from this, I'm going to give you what a Minecrafter should eat. Basically, I would suggest some kind of soup. You already have cauldrons in the game, and you can fill those with water. You can then boil this water and add in different bones. Yes, bones. The thing is, bone marrow has a lot of these trace elements, and it's mostly where your body puts these towards anyways, next to your brain. So the thing is, if you boil bones, and I'm assuming the bones that skeletons drop are from like a mammalian sort of source, they're going to have a similar composition to probably a cow's femur or whatever. I don't know exactly what kind of, you know, bone this is, but you can boil it to get the marrow out of it as well as gelatin. If you've ever made some kind of like ramen or certain Asian soups, they will have you boil certain off materials like bones or cartilage. And one of the more interesting foods that you could actually do is you could dry out seaweed, powderize it, and then toss it into soup, and you would fix probably half of your nutritional deficiencies. The thing is, you would still be missing a lot of B vitamins and all that. But another source is actually eating salmon. They are literally everywhere. If you go into a water source of any kind, if it's big enough, it's just going to spawn salmon. I would go after that. And assuming that uh, animals in this game just drop the meat or the item as is, like you can't really get a cow stomach or whatever. It's just going to drop a lump of meat. That's kind of the assumption that I'm also going off of, that it's still a video game, but the person in the video game can still interact in a certain way with it. So you are going to have to find alternative ways around this. And one of those ways is actually sniffer eggs. These things are huge, probably packed with nutrients. And honestly, I would be farming sniffer eggs if I were you. So from all this, uh, Steve's diet, I, I, I'm going to say it's not very good. Uh, we'll, we'll put it at like a five out of 10. You, you would be fine. Adding eggs and bone broth would probably bring it up to about a nine out of 10. And I just wanted to kind of go over this because I want to let you in on a little bit of the research that I do for these videos. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, consider joining as a member. Uh, comment down below if you found anything interesting or fun. And I will see you later. Goodbye.